five years and still talking, this is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network. Talk like you've never heard it before. Yes, from Harlem in New York, it's Alex and the Ramble, just like it says. And we'll be here until midnight, uh, Eastern Daylight Time tonight. And uh, here I am. How are you? Good evening. Welcome. Uh, how am I? Uh, don't want to ask. Just, uh, boy. Um... I'm I'm fine actually. I mean, all things considered, I might during. I always say this during the show. I may have to turn it over to the citizen panel while I go and uh, take a uh, uh, um, a little uh, a leak uh, because um, I uh, I have a problem. Uh, I have had these prostate seeds implanted in me and. Uh, it was going pretty well for a while, and now I have this urgency to go to the bathroom a lot, and uh, not a lot of it when I go. So occasionally during the show, I might have to say, I got to run, I got to go, it may be urgent. Or I may not have to at all. Usually I always warn you ahead of time uh, for no reason at all. Anyway, I'm so tired. You know what I'm tired of? I'm tired of technology. It just wears me out. I'm just, just exhausted from it. Um, and I've decided I'm giving up on all technology. That's what I'm doing. Uh, it, it's just too much of it, and uh, I'm uh, getting too old for this stuff. You know, I've always been, in my whole life, I've been this, uh, what they call, um, a real technologically uh, savvy individual. And now, I, it, it it's like all my devices are attacking me at one time. Now, granted, I have a lot of devices I have to deal with. I have to deal with this, okay, what you're seeing here, mm -hmm. you know, just that, that, that. Uh, and getting that picture out and going out to the rest of the world. Oh, let me make sure that we are going out to the rest of the world. Are we going out to the rest of the world? Yes, we are. Okay, that's good news. I, I didn't check there for a second. So uh, Let me see here. I also want to get something else ready. Um, so, um, I, you know, uh, I, I, just getting this stuff out, there's always something going wrong, you know, like these lights you see that I have here that I, that I turn on and off, uh, that make me look so much better lately since I put in those lights. Uh, let me show you what it looks like without the lights and you'll see what I'm, what I'm talking about. This is without the lights, but, um. Isn't that wonderful? Here's with the lights. Yeah, see? Isn't that wonderful? See? Well, just that alone, I uh, rebooted my Wi-Fi tonight, and I had to then reset these to work again. You know, it's not like I, it just comes back and works, all right? And then I've got a thing where I tell my, uh, my uh, uh, Alexa uh, to turn uh, lights on and off and certain lights on and off. And one whole thing of turning those lights on and off has complete, completely just stopped working, just completely. And I think it has something to do with the fact that the device has to be linked, and it has to be linked using my email address. Uh, and I guess it goes to someplace in China, and China says, okay, here's the information for uh, Alexa to have, and blah, 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 blah. But that, all of a sudden, is not working. It won't link. It's just, it, it, you know, which probably is them. But it doesn't drive me any less crazy. So I just, I just figure, I, what do I need this for? I mean, I can just forget about it. All I got to do, turn on the TV set and watch a TV show. Okay? Uh, I, you know, I'm sick and tired that every bit of, equipment that I have occasionally just goes out on me. Like these lights the other night, just on their own, just decided to quit linking up and turning on and off. And then all of a sudden they did turn on and off. And then tonight I got this thing with all of a sudden the lights won't turn on when I tell them to turn on. I mean, listen what happens. 
Echo, turn on studio. The skill link with studio is not enabled. See? Please enable the skill to control this device. Yeah, I'll, I'll be happy to install the skill if it would let me. You know, it, I, I, is it that I'm, that I'm getting so old that I don't know how to operate stuff I've always known how to operate? And I, I wonder, you know, I mean, like, I set up this whole thing with the lights and everything, and it wasn't easy, okay? It was, it was, it was a bit of a task, okay? How do people who have no technological knowledge know how to do this? Maybe they don't do it. Maybe they don't care that they talk to their uh, Alexa and tell her to turn on the lights and it turns on the lights. Maybe they don't care. I know my good friend Larry Bubbles Brown, he doesn't care. And his life, I think, is probably better off for it. In fact, next, uh, I talked to him today, but the next time I talk to him, I'm going to ask him about that. I mean, th would he rather have his life with technology or without technology? And the answer would probably be he'd rather have it uh, without technology. You know? Okay. So, anyways, I, I just, it just, it's one thing after another, and I'm, I'm tired of it. It just exhausts me. Um, and it's enough trouble getting this show on the air all the time. Uh, you know, uh, it, it, everything has to work perfectly. The video has to be working here in the studio. Then in, it has to go out to YouTube, and YouTube has to pick it up directly and all of that. And, uh, you know, it, it's really, it's, it's, a, uh, it's a pain in the butt, okay? That's all I got to say about it. By the way, is this show being monetized tonight? Yeah, it is. But it is? No, well, it isn't. I don't think it is, actually. Is it being monetized? No, let's monetize it so that you get a, so some people will get a commercial when they come on. Um, I, I have, uh, that's the other thing that I stopped doing was monetizing this show. But uh, then I decided to give it a try because sometimes it w is willing to monetize and then it isn't willing mo to monetize. So far, I've made almost 20 bucks. Okay, the only problem is, I don't know, I, once I got a thousand people, I could monetize the program. That means they run commercials before the show, and I get paid for that. And then they run one after the show, and I get paid for that too. I don't put any in the middle, because I don't want to do that, but uh, and I'm not greedy, okay? So, so far, I went on there, and I found out I have almost $20, uh, which we could say is wonderful, except I don't know how to collect it. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know where I go to get the money from uh, from YouTube. So anyway, I'll let it I'll let it hap keep happening until it gets to a hundred, and then I'll cash it in. Mm. Mm. And if you don't like the commercial, by the way, at the beginning, just wait four seconds. I think it's four seconds or five seconds, and then you can just click the button there, and it lets you go right to the program. And you make me a few bucks. Why? Anyway, uh, uh, let me. See. I have a little. I have a little graphic here. Would you like me to 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 do the graphic here? If I can do it, there there we go. Ooh, there we go. Coronavirus. Ooh, is that scary? Okay, we got that. Or we we actually have another one here. This one. This one's a little, a little better. This is like when you're on CNN and there's breaking news. Yeah, coronavirus update. I don't have any music for it. It's just, that's it. You know, that's all, all she wrote, ladies and gentlemen. That's... And I'm sniffling tonight. Why? Because I have allergies. What do I take for allergies? I'll show you. Wait a minute. This is what I take for allergies. You, you know, you've heard of Flonase? This is the uh, generic Flonase. It's cheaper than the real Flonase, and it's... Uh, uh, no, I don't have the coronavirus. That's not why I'm sneezing. Uh, I have allergies. That's why I'm sneezing. Anyway, it's time for our coronavirus update. Uh, and uh, I, I think that I have, first I have to do something here to uh, get, it, uh, get it going here. Let me see here. Coronavirus. There we go. I go like there, and then I'll do this. And then I'll be, get it. There we go. Okay. All right. All right. 
Um, here's here's the map, folks. Here here's the well. Let me just uh, let me redo this so we get the very latest uh, up here. Oh, it's much more than it was. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, the coronavirus um, update. Uh, let me see here. Where do I go? There we go. Okay. See that? Uh, 857,957 people have had the coronavirus. Uh, of them, 42,139, this is in the world, have died. Can you imagine that? This virus has taken out 42,139 people. Uh, total recovered, 178,119 that leaves us with uh, quite a few uh, left over here uh, that haven't recovered yet. And all those countries with the dots in them, uh, as you can see, those dots represent uh, the actual virus itself. And down here is a, uh, a, a little thing that goes up uh, and shows us uh, how fast this has been rising. Uh, here we are in the end of March, and uh, it's 857.5K, they say, or point, actually, it's, it's, it's almost 158, okay, 858, really. And the United States is leading now, we're number one, we're number one, with um, 189,000 35 cases in the United States. We're approaching 200,000. We'll probably pass that tomorrow. Italy has 105,000. Spain, 95,000. China, 82,290. Now, there are a lot of people that are saying that China may be, maybe, um, lying. Uh, we don't know. But they seem to have it under control, and they have all services back and up and running. And uh, so, but there's, there's China, and they had a lot of it there. That's where it all started in, in uh, Hunan or who, who, wherever, Huskow. Anyway, uh, let me see here. Where are we? Oh, yeah. Uh, I'll tell you where the best place to live on the planet Earth is. See this right up here? Uh, that's Greenland, and I... Um, brought up this little thing. Greenland has had 10 confirmed viruses. Eight of them are currently active. Two of them are recovered. Nobody has died. So I'm moving to Greenland as soon as the show is over with tonight, okay? Uh, we go to the Soviet Union. We go to Russia. They only say they had 17 deaths and 2,337. I don't believe that number. The reason I don't believe it is they're too close to China, and it didn't spread? Come on. Come on. Who are you trying to fool, Vladimir? Come on. You know. But we are leading the world in deaths and uh, in, in cases so far, but not in deaths, I don't think. We have, well, we have total deaths now of uh, 3,900, is it? That's what it looks like. Yeah, 3,900 in the United States. Uh, or maybe, yeah, no, yeah, I guess, I guess that's what it is. I have, or, let me see here, Italy, oh, look at Italy, though, look at the deaths they had, 12,428, Spain, 8,464, so considering that we have 189,000 and we're only at 3,900, uh, per capita, uh, we're doing much better than a lot of those other countries. Uh, going down to the very bottom of the list, we've got Timor Leste, and they have had one total confirmed with zero deaths. Sierra Leone, one confirmed, no deaths. St. Vincent and the Grenadines, which I think is near here, isn't it, somewhere? Wait a minute, we don't have that many. That's not right. There, that's right. One total confirmed, zero deaths, one total recovered. So there are no cases there currently. Um, 
What about the Gambia? Got four people there that have it. One of them died, so that's 25% mortality rate in, in, uh, in Gambia. Uh, Somalia, they got five uh, total confirmed, zero deaths, one recovered. Uh, Nepal, here we go. Nepal, five confirmed, zero deaths. Fiji, five confirmed, zero deaths. So there are places that, uh, you know, that have been doing pretty good. Laos, nine, zero deaths. Uh, the Seychelles, I say Seychelles, I've always liked that name, Seychelles. It's out off the uh, coast of Africa. Uh, to 10 totally confirmed, uh, zero recovered, but zero deaths. So anyway, we could go on and on and on. But we're, we're right there at the top, ladies and gentlemen, with our Almost 4,000 deaths so far, uh, 1,096 of them in New York City, where I am right now waiting to die, okay? So there you go. That's our map for tonight. Uh, I hope you enjoy it. We will check the map every, every night and take a look and see what, uh, what's going on with... Uh, uh, with the world that way, whatever. Anyway, let me uh, let me uh, bring up uh, Skype here. We'll bring people in. We'll do a show. Uh, I will take a couple of peas during the program. I don't know what it is. Uh, all of a sudden, it, they say that you know, if you have to, after you have this, you might have to urinate a lot and you know have an urgency every now and then. I don't have the urgency right now. I just feel like I could, uh, and. Um, it, it it was it was going fine, I mean, you know. I wasn't having any real problems. And then all of a sudden, it's like acting up on me. But uh, the good news is I'm urinating, but not like I should be. Okay. I do. You, any of you want to know this? Probably not. But I just say that I gotta, you know, I gotta pick up and go here at some future moment. So let me. Uh, First, let me, I didn't even turn on the lines yet. That's why I, uh, uh, here we go. And uh, it's, uh, it's uh, oh, there he is, Jeff. Hello, Jeff. And Scott Boddicker is calling. Uh, let me start getting these people in here. Uh, let me see here. There's, uh, first of all, there's uh, 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 Mr. Zeller. Wait a minute, hold on a sec. Come on. Bye. I got to get him at uh, there. There, that's his big number. Uh, yeah, okay, that's him. And then I got Scott Wall. Uh, Charlie Wallace is calling. I got Sp Scott Boddicker. I got to get in here. Uh, the beginning of the show. This is about as interesting as paint drying. Uh, let me see here. Where is it? Well, there's Charlie Wallace. I can put him in there. I guess. Well, he isn't. He uh, there. We go. Okay. Then I gotta go here and figure out where. Which one's Scott? Hold on a second here. Let's go there. Scott Bod, seventy six. Have you changed that recently, Scott? No, nope. I don't know how. You don't know how. Oh, okay. Oh, well, good. That's, that's, no technology here. You know something? I'm getting to the point where I just, I just hate technology. I'm just getting to hate it, hate it, hate it. Uh, let me see here. I, I have no idea which one she is. Hold on. Uh, let me see here. Um, I don't, I can't find you anywhere She's here, okay. Charlene. Are you? Can see. you hear me? John Larkin's calling too, yeah. Hold on. Uh, yeah, but I can hear you, but I can't, I can't find you on the... Uh, on the Skype, uh, on the Skype uh, thing here. Uh, maybe I should call you from no, my phone because no. I got a new computer. Well, maybe do, that's you, it. do you have a name for your computer? It's still that I was trying to fix it again. It's like grayed out and it won't let me change it from no. that stupid thing. Oh, oh. Well, it has just a bunch of letters. Well, hold on a bunch of let me, letters. Let me bring John Larkin. In. Oh, there John, you, there you are. I just found you. you I, th are. I, th I found you. I think this is you. Okay. And, and, and no, that isn't you. Oh God, I'm I'm having more problems here. Hold on, folks. Just uh, <laughs> let me see here. I wish some of you people would uh, would, uh, would do uh, 
Uh, let's see here. Is that it? No. Yeah. It, is that? Wait a minute. Yeah. Hold on a second. I got to put on my glasses. I can't see a thing here. Okay, that's John Larkin. Okay, and then I go here, and I bring in. Um, uh, I guess I guess that's got to be Charlene. You got to figure out a way to change your name, Charlene. Okay, there we go. Now we got a whole bunch of people there. There we are. And uh, hello to all of you. How are you this evening? Are you still here? Uh, 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 still not uh, sick. Yeah. yeah any of you? None of you have the uh, coronavirus. Not no. that I know of. Not that you know of. Okay. I. Yeah. Uh, I don't think I have it either. So, you know. Chris Cuomo has it now, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 Andrew Cuomo. Yeah, but he's he's pretty young, so. What was it, Chris? Yeah, it's he's Chris. Uh, like Chris quarantined, Cuomo. but he's still like broadcasting from. Skype or something. Yeah, and his guest last night was his brother, so, <laughs> you know, which is kind of cool. Um, well, I got a question. Yeah. From, from what you started, what happened in uh, New Zealand? Well, well, wait a minute. Hold on a second. Let me just first let me get all these people on here. Uh, here comes. Um, uh, uh, okay, Rob. Okay, so then I go here to eight. And I uh, put in, let's see here, seven. I'll make it Rob. Okay, Rob Alfano. There we go. And then who's the other one? Oh, yeah, it's Tony. Okay, Tony, 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 Tony. Phony, phony. Oh, <laughs> Webhead, there we go. Okay, now. Oh, boy, we're, we're really filling up fast these days. Oh, there, yeah. we, there we go. Look at that, folks. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. And that's Phil didn't even call tonight. So, you know, look at us. We're all filled up. So, hello, Rob. Rob and I. Hello. You know, I'm get, I've been getting headaches, too. Am I complaining too much about my health? I've been getting headaches. Me, too. Yeah, I think it has to do, I think it has to do, no, it's not the virus. <laughs> I've had this, ever since I had the uh, the uh, seeds put in, I get these slight sinus headaches up here. So, and then they go uh, away. Trump gives me a headache. What? Yeah, <laughs> yeah what? he was bad tonight, yeah. Trump Who was? Oh, Trump. Trump. Oh, he's, oh, he's well, <laughs> Rob and I spent maybe a half hour talking about Trump between each other earlier today. I almost should have been recording that conversation because it was really something. Um, we, you know, we're what we're bothered by is that he isn't doing anything, but he's taking claim for everything. Yeah, he was being grandiose again tonight about how wonderful he is. Well, yeah, I mean, how he put in all these hospitals in New York. I'm sorry, that was that was Andrew Cuomo's. A uh, uh, little deal, you know. Uh, the fact that it, Andrew Cuomo decided, hey, we'll use uh, uh, ja Jacob Javits Center as a hospital, uh, and he had to call the president to see if he could get the boat. You know, it was all hit. It was all Cuomo's doing, but now he's taking credit for it. Look at what I did. You know, that's his I mo. I can't take him. I hope he drops dead. I'm serious. I really <laughs> hope he I agree with you. I don't know which cancer on him. I really hate this guy. You could, you I, could I, way I, to get rid I, of him, yeah. But does I any God in Trump will get coronavirus? I mean, I know it's not the mm -hmm. right My mother would kill me to think like that. But I hate his guts. Did well, you see the pillow guy? He almost vomited my Oh, oh the up. pillow guy. Did you see that, Rob? The did my pillow see, guy? Did what you see that, John? Yeah. Uh, uh, Jeff, all of you, Charlie, the did you see the pillow guy? No, no. Not pillow. Oh, oh, video. Mr. I heard about it. <laughs> Mr. My I can't stomach him on television, so the I my don't. My pillow like... guy, right? Well, he's a former. <laughs> you know what he is? He's a, he's a former drug addict who right. learned how to make pillows. And he's really? religious or something. I actually got one of his pillows too. Oh, really? Well, I would take you it out. To and bring it out. I, I have one. No, one I would. No, I would it's actually. I, I would take it out and burn it in the backyard. I know. I feel like it's, I feel so cheap <laughs> when I sleep on it now. Yeah, yeah. It's I use it for my back though. I was like, oh no. God! I even bought one of the Spockers pillows. I said, 
Yeah, hello, uh, Phil. We got a full house hey, now. Hi. You know, I, I, I was having problems getting on Skype tonight, and, and I just heard the My Pillow guy thing. Uh, horrible. Least, okay. Horrible. Uh, uh, Wait, you know, well, what's the My Pillow guy thing? Did oh, something happen to him? The this my pillow guy advertises more on Fox than Michael Bloomberg did on <laughs> Facebook. You know, I, pretty good. I more my pillow commercials. They're starting to come out of my, uh, you know, tush. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Anyway, he comes out yesterday, and all it was was a commercial for my pillow. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm making what some. Was? I'm making some masks. Oh, really? Uh -oh. Okay, what are you going to call them? My mask? No, no, he, 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 it's a good thing he's doing. He's converted his entire uh, factory uh, masks. Uh, what these, is up there, uh, Phil? They're using surgery. You know how many people are doing that, and they're not getting the commercial? Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah they're, not taking, they're not taking it. They're not, they're, not, they're not using the opportunity to do a free commercial right. Right. at the president's press conference. They just, you know. He, he, but he, he talked, you know, my pillow, and then he did. Then he, the second half of his speech was a uh, a, a sermon about God. That makes sense. He's very religious. Uh, yeah. out, of know. course, he's religious. He's an ex addict. Okay. Right. He's become uh, religious. That's right. Had, huh? I think it was method. Uh, uh, method. 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 Yeah. <laughs> Is there some audio, extraneous audio playing in the background somewhere? I hear a. Hmm. Uh, you hear that? I hear the program coming back in like a delay. Somebody's got it up on their computer. Mm, I don't think so. I don't hear it. Does anybody else hear it? I hear it. Maybe it's me. I got my speakers on. Let me turn my speakers off. Okay. Okay. Uh, uh, I don't hear it, but, you know. I do. How's that? Well, no, I can't hear it. <laughs> let me get my you know, I'm using speakers instead of. Uh, no, uh, let me so double check. It's not me. <laughs> let me go get her phone. It, it could be you've got some pot open or something. Yeah. Uh, yeah. My, my, I, I hope it's not me. Mute. My wife's got the TV in another room blasting. No, but that's it. No, that's that was me. I had a browser open, didn't realize oh, it. Oh, okay. Bad boy. Bad boy. Um, I expect. Still I ex getting used to all the new controls here. Yeah. Yeah, look, the studio's taking shape. Oh, uh, I'm waiting. But uh, the my pillow guy, God, oh my God! And then he brings out all these people who he. It's like, you know, I, when didn't the act of giving become a reward in and of itself? You know, it's just a sick act. I yeah. thought. Like you don't have. Like to you don't have. You don't have to show up at the White House like he did yesterday, Mr. My Pillow, and plug your product, or any of the other people who were there who mentioned who, what their product was. You know, you just you do good work and you you, sh you shut the hell up, right? You know, you just and and it's it's like it's like Trump with him saying, and some of these governors never thanked me. Hey, you're not you don't you're not supposed to get thanks for doing something that's right. It's the act of doing it that should be giving you great pleasure. What yeah. is that called, Scott? Contrition? Uh, oh, he's terrible. Con contrition. Contrition? Yeah. That was horrible. Catholic Church. What are they? Uh, the is, act is of contrition. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, uh, it just, you know, you, oops. I, gotta, I can't go to there. I thought, was that the lowest yeah. point of, like, I've ever seen? That's, like, the low. And the way he sat in the back, like, the big shot. It was almost like... I've well, well, he always stands there looking like a kid who had to go to some event his parents made him go to and that he can't stand being there, so he's very fidgety. Am I right? Do you notice that, Rob? Yeah. And he does this. Yeah. That, that, that working back and forth and not really right, paying yeah. attention and kind of looking over somebody's while they're reading something. And then earlier today in, in today's conference... At one point, somebody was giving a speech. They were all asking questions of Fauci and the woman I call Scarfy. I don't know what her name is. <laughs> I can't. The one with the white on all the time. My mother yeah. called me call a doctor, the death doctor. I call I her. I call her. Um, I call her Scarfy. Scarfy, because she's always got the scarf. <laughs> and um, 
Uh, and so everybody's asking them questions rather than Trump. And it's driving him nuts. And at one point, they finish with Fauci, and Fauci moves over to the side, and immediately Trump jumps into the podium, and then somebody asks a question of Scarfy. And so he then backs off again. You know, um, what a egotistical... The only good thing about the coronavirus is, is he's not allowed to have any more of those rallies. <laughs> yeah. So he's using this as his rallies. Yeah. That's exactly right. So well, that's listen, why uh, mic t- time. That's uh, why he's there every night at six o'clock. I'll tell you, uh, Biden's fighting for space. You know, mm-hmm. I mean, when's the last time you really heard about the Democratic primaries? Yeah, exactly. Nothing, yeah. Um, Biden's lucky nobody's asking him any questions. What? Biden is lucky. Nobody is asking him. Oh, they are. They, he's been on that, some shows. Uh, he's been on some shows, and he's been okay. Does he drool still? No, he never drooled. <laughs> Speaking about drooling, have you seen your little boy? You know. Uh, what? Hey, he wasn't having any spittle when he spoke. Oh, yesterday. He, oh, he has sometimes. Yeah, uh, he's but it, like yesterday, him. his hair almost fell off. Oh, that would be nice. <laughs> the wind, the wind, the wind was blowing, and he was constantly yes. kind of fighting the wind by holding his hair. It's the civil <laughs> war on his head, huh? It's the civil war on his head. <laughs> the north versus the south. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here, here comes, here comes Kevin. Uh, let me see here. I got to, um, I got to bring him, him in here. Uh, let me see here. He would come in in the number 10 spot. And here we go with Kevin. Um, let me see here. Kevin, Kevin, Kevin. Oh, well, he would be Hog Rider, of course. Uh, why do I look for him as Kevin? There we go. Hello, Kevin. How are you? Did you see the My Pillow guy yesterday? Yeah, how are you? Yeah. <laughs> oh. Shit show. On the daily advertisements. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, the only thing missing was the 800 number on the bottom of the fucking screen. You know, <laughs> and the little jingle. Well, that cost extra. It's disgusting. And <laughs> when you make something for a royalty, uh, don't they give you a certain crest or something that yes. you're able to Yes, display? but that's an entirely different I'm thing, Phil. That guy again. I think that they should do that for American firms that are stepping up to the plate and making these things Phil, for uh, Phil, charity. you don't have to give well, them anything. they'll all anything. get medals of honor. You yeah. know something? I, you, I, you don't okay. have to give them anything. You, you, you know, uh, the, the, give the, them the, 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 the seal, act of, The act of doing something good should be payment enough for them. You know, yeah, if there was some, want to if there was some way steal. I could add to the stuff, I would, you know, but my mother said it. She, my mother knows nothing about anything. And she says, why is this guy there to me? Yeah. Well, he's there because some people voted for him. <clears throat> nobody, I mean, the pillow guy. nobody here that I know, except for one guy. Oh God, Michael Klein. Pillow. Am I going to be able to fit him in? Without everything going crazy here, let me see. Let me give it a try, okay? Let me give it a try. Michael Klein. Michael, I might have to get rid of you if this is too much people here. Hold on a second. What name do you use? I've got so many names here that... uh, Do you have a name that you're using? Mike, there it is. Yeah, there it is. And... Is he uh, here? Let me see here. Mm, yep, we got him. Okay, nobody sneeze. Okay. <laughs> Hi, guys. Hi there, Michael. How are you? Uh, I'm, uh, I'm actually probably better than most because I got I'm able to work at home. So yeah, I'm very grateful for that. Um, but I think I mentioned before I, I work on Naked and Afraid. Mm-hmm. And oh. so uh, I am uh, literally uploading from my house to Discovery Networks. It's mm-hmm. crazy. So what what I worked on in my house is going to go on the air in three weeks. Yeah. It's crazy. Do you edit? Do you edit? Wow. Uh, I'm doing color, actually. Just the uh, color grading. Oh, oh, okay. Cool. Yeah. Well, I would imagine there isn't much color grading there. You just have to make sure it looks like flesh. No, it's they're, they have like 
they have like six cameras, and each camera has a different color. They got the GoPros, they got the handheld. Okay, and so you got to regular... got to equalize them all out, right? Yes, it's crazy. What kind of spectrometer do you use? <laughs> I uh, it's a good question. I don't use a spectrometer. I use uh, a consumer version, which is good enough Hello. right now. Hello, Spider. 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 But Phil, why do you have to use terms that nobody knows what you're talking about? He's to show to how show smart off. you He's are. Showing off. Yeah, showing off. Who's in charge of blurring out all the all oh. the good parts? See, you, you, you. <laughs> right. There's okay. So all of all of the, the naughty bits, right? <laughs> all of the production company is now remote, and so there are people who. I'm doing a two-hour episode. There is eight. Hundred blur shots that are done in After Effects, yeah. and they upload them to me. Uh, I have a server in my house, and I download them from my own server and put them in the show. So when I first get the show, everyone's naked, and then I, as the blurs come in, I overcut them and copy uh, the. Blur. I'll tell you what: if I saw the un, the, you can't unsee certain things. Oh, it is so <laughs> gross. There is nothing <laughs> sexual about it at all. <laughs> <laughs> You, know, you, you do something, you miss the blur, and it goes back out, and so maybe it goes on the air with no blur. No, you must that have a never happened, thank God. Uh, <laughs> but we have about six people going frame by frame, making yeah. sure all the blurs are good. We used to do that at the Playboy when I worked for the Playboy Channel. We used to yeah. take all the porno movies and then cut out all the the parts that everybody wanted to see that they paid for, but you can't have. And that was a tedious task, and uh, you know it's back and well, the forth. The question is, when you when you take a porn film and you remove all the porn, what do you have left? You just have a lot of cover <laughs> cover shots, right? You're, you you got to keep it the length, so you you keep cutting away to. Just now, didn't a lot of B-roll. didn't a lot of those uh, didn't a lot of those guys uh, 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 who did porn back then didn't they do? Separate versions, separate takes, so that you Some could have did, a yeah. you could have a clean shot, and yeah. the, and the, still the continuity would keep going. I mean, Some of them would. They would do like a movie ver a version that would run on a pay per view for a hotel, or play Playboy Channel or whatever. Yeah, yeah. But we did a lot of editing, <laughs> yeah. and then we'd have visitors come in because you know it's that ruins yeah. the whole meaning and function of porn. <clears throat> you know. It was just, it was boring to watch. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so I, I went to In-N-Out today. I braved out into the, to the outside world and um, 30, 35 minute wait in yeah, the right line. That's how the line was. That was a good wait. I went there the other day and it was at least that long. In your car, you're waiting, right? Yeah, you got to wait in your oh, car. That's not bad. I had a crazy. I mean, it's not good, but it's, but, you know, it's standing next to people. But, I mean, in Los Angeles, it's just freaky to see. Like, I had six car lengths ahead of me on the freeway. It was just just bizarre. Freaky Tommy's times were in. Burgers still in L.A.? You know, Tommy's? They, that used to be the best burger. Tommy's, of course. Yeah. yeah. Uh, those are better than In-N-Out. But they're farther away. Oh. But with In-N-Out, you get a, 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 a Bible track on the bottom of every cup. You know, I, I forgot to check for that. Yeah. I, I forgot, I, maybe I can go in the trash can and read you the Bible, Bible verse. Yeah, that's why I don't buy my pillow, and it's the reason why I don't go to in and out yeah, Anybody oh, that's going to force religion down my throat can go screw themselves. You know? That my pillow. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. I forgot to change something here. i got to change something here. It's a, that's why I don't, a, I don't eat there either. It's a, it's a royal flush. No, it's a it, yeah. is, it, is it a jackpot? Eleven, twelve, twelve. Is twelve a jackpot? Don't yeah, nobody, no. nobody else call because it'll, it'll just. I've, I've had it just completely. All of a sudden, people start disappearing, and it's. So how's your health, Alex? I, I haven't gotten an update. Uh, <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> 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 Half an hour. It was, I was looking for a right now, I'm, right now I'm having kind of being short of breath, I think, a little bit, but I think it's allergies. I don't think it's the coronavirus, although I could go get my thermometer. Do you have yeah. one of those pulse ox things? Because those are hard to come by now, but that's a good thing to the, have. The what? Like pulse you uh, put it for the oxygen on your finger, 
And if your oxygen level doesn't look too good, that's how you can oh, tell Oh, yeah, you know. they put on you in the hospital. Oh, is that mm. what that is? Yeah. Huh. It measures how much oxygen is in your blood and everything. Oh, really? Oh. Yeah, that's a good thing to have, but they're hard to get now. Like well, I think, okay, I'm just a little wheezy, but, uh, you know, I don't have, I, I, last time I uh, checked my temperature, I was fine, so, you know. Did anyone see uh, John Oliver on Sunday? Yes. Yes. I yeah. thought he was brilliant. And really, he, just encapsulated he, uh, everything for me. Yeah, yeah. And I know Phil won't watch it, but Phil, you might get a little education if you watch it. Yeah. <laughs> well, that, some of those clips he had from uh, Italy. Yeah. The, uh, t- uh, uh, in Italy, uh, were very funny. Yeah. Um, he did a good job. I like Is he thing. another one of those phony English speaking, you know, uh, with the English accent and I'm holier than thou yeah, and I'm so funny. No, and not so at all. Funny. Not at all. He's yeah. just very, very funny. And yeah. he uh, pretty much encapsulates everything in a way that even you would understand. <laughs> you know, he talks about it probably. Huh? What? Yeah, uh, and I don't watch those guys. I think they're all full of crap. I see. They're full of crap. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. So, Bill, you think Trump's done a great job with this? Uh, Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, what, what answer uh, did you expect, Michael? I Sometimes you hope for a glimmer of hope, you know? Yeah. You know, but yeah. when idiots ask the same question over and over, you get the same answer. <laughs> yeah, you know the definition of insanity. It's doing That's, the same well, thing. Well, I want to ask. I want to ask uh, Scott here because Scott kind of gets silent when there are these many people. But Scott, uh, have you watched any of the uh, any of the press conferences that Trump's been holding? Yes, yes, I have. Uh, and and what is your takeaway? Well, I I think his last one was his best one, and uh, the one today. I mean, he actually uh, or. Maybe it was yesterday's. I can't remember, but but yeah, he actually was not as terrible until they start asking him questions, all right? And CNN is just baiting the motherfucker. You know that. Oops, sorry about that. And just so he'll go off on him. Yeah. He's just bait him. He shouldn't do that. Well, I'm sorry. He, he know they know he can be baited, and the fact yeah. that they know he can be baited is his weakness. Yeah. You know. NBC I, I, does the same CNN thing. Guy, yeah. Just you know, ask him. Well, he asked me. You know, I don't know. It just, you know, they're they're trying to make him look stupid. But it's not. No, one of good. They're just challenging him on his lies. Yeah, lies. He's doing is reporting the facts. Yeah, yeah. Come on, he's He's out on his ass saying there was no problem for months. Yeah, and now he's like, oh, I, I knew the whole thing was. And if anybody's getting this economy back, it'll be him. Because I tell you, after the 2008 recession, uh, Obama uh, brought us back malaise uh, and, and, and one of the worst, slowest uh, recoveries that yeah. we've ever seen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It was by the previous what? administration. <laughs> yeah, let me just say about Obama for you. What, what a prick, huh? What a prick he was. Yeah. 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 What a prick. Everything he did today has yeah. been terrible, right? Yeah. Yeah, he he, and, yeah. and you know, bailing out the auto industry. His morality, hard. right out the window. I think uh, Obama was screwing every woman in town, wasn't he? Mm-hmm. In fact, mm-hmm. I think he once bragged that he uh, he could touch their pussy and get away with it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, yeah. <laughs> grab, grab. It. Alex, that's yeah. just locker room talk. Come on, <laughs> it's just lo- yeah, it's just just friendly <laughs> male locker room talk. The kind that, as a male, I hated. You know, I always didn't like it when the other guys did it. Yes, Kevin. Because they were grabbing you. Kevin. <laughs> did, uh, did anybody see the uh, CNN interview with Bill Gates on it? No. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I saw that, yeah. That was really good. What, what? Tell us about it. Well, he was just he was just the, the mind of reasoning. I mean, he's been studying this, this uh, whole pandemic thing for a long time you know in in other countries as well as here and he had he had a you know he he actually made me feel a little better about what was going on and you know was more realistic about you know what should be going on and the whole bit yeah uh it it just i don't know he just had a he had a lot a lot more reasonable outlook on what was going to happen and how it should be you know tackled and everything else right 
I thought it was pretty good. I saw Tony posted part of it, yeah. but that was the tail end of the interview itself. Yeah. And you heard what he said too, Kevin. He he said, Alex, that they should have looked at China's model. We should have been locked down in January, a hard lockdown. Because yeah. then you say we waited too long. That's what I'm trying to say. Well, so we it, it, well you know, I somebody asked me about that saying, Well, you know, we're not that kind of country. We couldn't do that here. We wouldn't do that kind of lockdown here. And I went, you know, I give up most of my freedoms for a small period of time if it meant that it was going to cut down on the amount of deaths in this whole thing. Yeah, as long as at the end we get it back, you know. Once you give up your freedoms, they never give it back. Uh, that's bullshit. That's bullshit. Really? That's, bullshit. Yeah. that's, Phil, that's well, just Because they would have so many so, people fighting just to get it back. So uh, those uh, acts that they instituted after uh, the uh, 9-11... Uh, did they still have those laws in effect? You know, the, the monitoring, the... Uh, That's a law. This is not... We're not talking about right. instituting a law. We're talking about... Oh, but I agree with you with laws, yes. But this is not a law. This is you need to stay yeah. in the House during this period to save lives, right? We could lose... The president no, said yeah. it tonight. Uh, 100 mm -hmm. to 240,000 Americans can die, and we can't stay in the House? Charlie has his hand up. Charlie? Terrible. Yes. Yeah, I, I just want to point out to Phil that South Korea and the United States reported their first coronavirus victim on the same day in January. Mm -hmm. We have 190,000 cases now in the U.S., and they don't even have 19,000 in, in South Korea. Hey, you know why? They works. don't have a moron running the government. <laughs> <laughs> no, they don't have morons that won't stay in their house. You have an option. You you don't have to go out and and Phil, not Phil, so, Phil, and not, Phil. Where did you go today? Uh, I was in my office. Uh huh. Uh, yeah. Are you an essential business, by the way? Yes. How I am? How are you? What? How are you? I'm a say? contractor that uh, does uh, work in residential homes. Well, that, how's that? How's that essential business? Yeah. If you read the uh, Contra Costa. Uh, 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 mandate. Uh, they, uh, I am an exempt. Uh, plumbers, electricians, uh, people that do work in residential homes that fix uh, uh, things for the safety of the home. Yeah, but that should There's be no the case safety of a factor for what you do. If you got a hole in the floor, oh, uh, okay. you had a flood. I do insurance work, so okay. if you have, if you had a flood, mm -hmm. uh, half of your Phil, stuff is Phil, ripped. I out maintain from, that you're un-American. Well, really? you're, you're un-American. I'm serious. I mean, you know, we, 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 except for two occasions, have not left this house for over two weeks, this apartment. And we feel we're, we're, we feel, we feel we're doing our part, you know? Well, I'm doing my part, too, by keeping people's homes safe. Bullshit. Phil, uh, you may think bullshit. You're, you're, no, law. you're you're al allowing yourself in a crisis to line your pockets. No, I'm staying open, doing a service for the people. Uh, oh yeah, right. Can hey, you can you actually look in the mirror and say that to yourself? Yeah, absolutely. Even dentists aren't open. Well, they just opened. They uh, they added new guidelines today in the Bay Area, so you might want to check them because I think they got a little bit tighter on that. Yeah, they so, hit with a fine. Yeah, they they. Uh, I think they added carpet people to that. My uh, <laughs> yeah. store is closed to the public, and it's only open by appointment, and it's uh, and therefore I only have one customer at a time. Well, if you were store. if you if you cared about this, you would not you would not to begin with. Expose your employees. I, no, I sent them home. So you do all the installation yourself? I'm not doing the installations. I'm doing the uh, in in the uh, store stuff and the estimates. So uh, I don't have any salespeople. Right and now. so you estimate, and then what do you tell them? We will we be able to get around to you in three months? No, I just have them come in uh, by appointment, make their selections. Uh, and then we uh, order the stuff, schedule the installation, and, and put it in. How many think that's BS? Would you raise your hands, please? That's, it's not BS. It's what I do. Huh? Yeah, but you're 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 stretching the truth a little bit with it's uh, it's. I mean, okay, yes, there are maybe occasions, but how often does it happen where there are big holes in the floors and families are in trouble because of it? 
my business, most of my business comes from uh, insurance company uh, uh, water loss. Uh, I'm tied into uh, uh, two or three different insurance companies mm. that uh, that send me an assignment uh, after there's a, a claim. So, and I'm the one that goes out, determines what the scope of the claim is, mm -hmm. and then uh, we take care of Kevin? it. Kevin, and the insurance he Ke pays me. Kevin. Yeah, I, I could believe that. How do you get in your – you having troubles getting your supplies? Because I could believe that you're you're probably quoting your jobs and probably not getting your supplies for a few weeks, yeah? Uh, uh, initially, there was uh, – there a lot of the mills had closed. But uh, within a week, they all started producing again. Uh, I was thinking maybe you're, you could probably go out and quote your jobs and still not get them for a few weeks, and then you're probably doing okay because you're – Wait, so when, really when, when, the, when the twelve hundred uh, when the twelve hundred dollar when the twelve hundred dollar check comes, you're going to cash it. Cash it. I'm I'm going I'm going to enjoy it a hundred percent. That's my Obama money. Mm -hmm. You socialist. You're Obama that's your Obama money. Obama money. <laughs> what do you mean by that? Well, he learned from Obama how to hand out that money, so uh, you know I want that. Wait, he already handed yeah. this money out once before in the tax rebate thing that he had a while back. He's he's using the Andrew Yang form of getting right. ingratiate it's himself exactly to people. Twelve hundred, like Andrew said, right? I I liked Andrew Yang. Of course, you like anybody who gives you free money, and you're not a socialist. <laughs> yeah, he's gonna take that. Yeah. No, I remember Phil said he sent back that Obama check. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah that's after what I, he did. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> after I cashed it, hey, you know everybody's going to be under a lot of financial pressure for the next couple of months. Mm -hmm. You know, they have a massive overhead, and uh, I got to keep it going. I mean, we're we're not know. under financial pressure because my wife is still working, getting paid. She's working out of her out of the home, but she's getting paid. I'm still getting my uh, my uh, social security, and I'm still getting my. Uh, uh, SAG after we're, pension, and yeah. um, uh, we're making no less money now than we were making before this I, thing, and, and we're going to get about twenty four hundred dollars. I, I am a person <laughs> eight jobs. What's he, the uh, cut? Uh, the cutoff is a salary, right? So, yeah, hundred, yeah. seventy five thousand per person. Per person. Uh, well, oh, it's, it's, uh, for, for, for two people, it's two hundred thousand. Two two hundred yeah. Two hundred thousand? Yeah. For because two people. For two people. It's ninety eight each, isn't it? Something like that. Yeah. I think it's ninety nine. Then my wife might get it. There's so a uh, two yeah, one ninety nine, something like that. I'm yeah, there, the SBA uh, has some programs for small businesses oh. where if you got less than fifty employees, uh, you can uh, you can apply for a uh, loan and if you use that loan for rent uh, the business rent, uh, utilities and salaries to keep your people employed, even though you're quasi sh shut down in my yeah. case, uh, then uh, they forgive it uh, if you use the money within, I think, 10 weeks. Well, here, Are you well, paying people now? Yeah. Here's the part that's really going to get to a lot of you. I heard Phil's this. Phil's a good-hearted guy. He's one of the nicest people I know. I don't agree with much he says, but I think <laughs> Phil's an a, a amazing human being. Yeah, nice. truly. Yeah, he's, a, he's a decent. On an individual level, yeah. 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 Well, who else is there? <laughs> you know. Yeah. I mean, I feel the same way, but then again, Rob, you and I don't have to see him all the time. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you do every night. Yeah. Um, um, uh, Back up. Yeah. Did you say something, Scott? I, I said from the neck up, you only get to see it. From the neck up, he's he's he, 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 well, the neck up, he's an asshole. But you know, from the <laughs> neck down, he's okay, I guess. Anyway. <laughs> Yeah, uh, no, uh, I don't know if you any of you hear this, that all these checks that are going out. When uh, are we getting? Well, it, there's going to be a little extra something on those checks that you oh, yeah. expect. Uh, yeah. 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 Huh? Extra money? Yeah. Yep. Hey, yep. Uh, you guys going to take the checks? I thought he wasn't your oh, president. Wait a minute. Wait, hold, hold on a second. You, do you know what that extra thing is with those checks? Phil? I do. I do. I do. I know Scott does. Hold on a second. Let's see if Phil does. No, I don't know. Okay, Scott, tell him. Sure, Trump's I'm getting one. signature. 
Oh, nice. No, really? no, 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 no. I, did that really I, happen? Yes. I better run and cash at Fast Socks. It's oh, gonna shit. I'm, I'm not 100% sure. How, now, how, is that not, how does that not qualify as uh, running for president? You know. Yeah. Well, I I'm glad I'm getting direct deposit. I don't have to see that shit. You're right. <laughs> You're right. We don't have to. I see. Everybody was. I thought there were no checks. I had heard that they you had to come up with a way, whether it was the IRS or some way to get the money that they weren't doing checks. Yeah, I think well, that checks can take a long right. time. I, I, yes. Well, they are. Or the uh, t- let's see here, the t- uh, two trillion dollars. Mind you, it's not a billion. It's not a million. It's Three, two trillion, and they're going for another two trillion now. Okay. Oh, good. I get another check. Um, <laughs> is, isn't this the guy who kept complaining about how much money the government had been spending? <laughs> he's giving it away. And he has a de- he's going to have a deficit by the time he, he's through in office, the likes of which you've never seen. Absolutely. It's Hello, the Trump. It's the Trump, it's the Trump casino all over again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Getting on for uh, the Kennedy Center. Uh, you know, this one's getting uh, 180 million. This one's getting Phil, that. There was so the much Kennedy more. Center. Yeah, how much is the Kennedy Center getting? Yeah, how much 20, is the huh? Center? 25 million, and it's mm-hmm. because. Po- <laughs> okay, so Remember they're getting 25 million. million. No. This is yeah. out of two trillion dollars, Phil. Right about that. That's like a penny. <laughs> That's you know how many masks you can yeah. buy. For Twenty-five million dollars. You know how many masks they're going to make for twenty-five million dollars? Two of them. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. Here's <laughs> here, here's what happened. Here's what the big problem was has been yeah, but, so far, uh, is that um, uh, the each of the states are bidding against each other for masks. So the price of masks go up, and then the person who then goes out and buys all of them at the highest price is FEMA. Because FEMA can outbid the rest of them, okay? So rather than saying FEMA should be the only organization that can get these things, they can bring the price in low because nobody's bidding. There's not a bidding war breaking out. And then FEMA can turn around and give those to the states. But FEMA doesn't want to do that. FEMA just wants the mass for themselves. And, oh, and no. what, was, what was Trump's They'd worst nightmare about single-payer yeah. health care? The single payer, payer health care was much less than two trillion. Oh yes, oh yes, absolutely. I think it was more than that. It I was kind of, uh, it was thirty trillion over thirty years or something. Yeah, ten years. Oh, you we know got my now. The government's paying for it. You know, yeah. uh, you got the uh, COVID virus. Boom! You get you. You don't even have to pay for the no, test. This is as socialistic as you can possibly get. This yeah. whole part. They going to give you the test if you're not sniffling? No, you, you got to in before you can find out whether you got the Phil, test. Phil, they you got to have some kind of symptom before they're going to give you the test Probably because the there's no need to give yeah. you the test if you don't have a symptom. Well, you can even lie and say you got oh, the you're symptom. Not walking around with the with the yeah, virus, you walk around and, and you're two weeks without symptoms. People are wondering how Italy was able to get all of their N95 masks because they aren't for profit. They want to take care of all of their citizens. Oh, that's because most of the most of the Italians already died, and they don't need masks. Yes, uh, uh, Kevin, are you trying to say something there? Yeah, this singer from the balcony. Well, well, I would just you know the, the big Republican argument is that that. Uh, you know, it's all comes down to why Pelosi pulled threw in the 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 arts and all that on that pork bill. But look at how much money is going to the non U.S. flagged ships, the cruise ships. Yeah, right. They, they don't you know, even that's, have that's Ameri- They don't even have. They don't they even have American it. registry. Yeah, they don't have American registry, but they're American companies because the tax breaks. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but they're not. Yeah, right. They're, they're, they're still getting companies. the money. Right. And I don't give a, I don't give a shit about US those. I, I don't know right. about you, but I don't give a shit about those cruise ships because they're nothing but Petri dishes anyway. You know, yeah. they've had more know. they've had more bad health on cruise ships in the last 10 years than any other single place. They supply a lot of jobs in, in the ports, whether it be Miami, Fort Lauderdale. Long Screw that. Beach. Those people be, should go look for other jobs. Yo, I'll use your, oh. your methodology here. They should go look for better jobs. Tons of companies that support these things that so supply give the, the people the money. Phil, no, Phil, you could t- look. You, you, do you know the only?
place that makes money off of those cruise ships? Miami. Yeah. And where is Mar-a-Lago? Uh, yeah. uh, uh, it's, 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 it's in, if, let's, let's make it broader. Let's just say Florida. Florida. That's the reason why he wanted to do it. Not because, uh, uh, you know, he was going to... Uh, uh, <coughs> No, it's an industry that's getting devastated. The reason and the we, reason he was so late to go and do England as a port that he didn't want people coming in from was because of his, his uh, Scottish uh, uh, golf courses yeah. and his hotels. Well, uh, yes, I, well, you know, uh, you're not, you're not. He's being been famous. running this well, country. No, no, no. You know what, Phil? If, I mean, that's what he wanted. If you're going to let, but if you're going to let, if you're not going to, um, if you're not, if you're going to run businesses as the president of the United States, you better expect that. Because you haven't taken yourself. That This is exactly what he, he reaps what he sows. He didn't yeah. give up his business. And he's handling it. He's handling all of you guys uh, coming down on him for just being an American citizen that it happens to be uh, doing his uh, oh, duty oh, as oh, yeah. uh, the leader of this oh, country. His duty? He was elected. Duty. Duty. His duty? Yeah, man. I'm uh, wearing a mask from a bodega and afraid to leave my house three years later. Yeah. Huh? We still we're hasn't expressed any condolences for what died. Right now, his duty amounts to 189,035 people who have yeah. the coronavirus. Yeah, Trump, I mean, come on. Trump, this is, wait a minute. This is it be may have gone up, place. by the way. It may have With gone up. Billion dollars to help them. Excuse Trump me. Trump supporters can bury their hands and bury, bury their heads in the sand about what's going on, but it's all on videotape. We played some audio last Friday. Called it a hoax. I'm saying all this stuff that there's no problem. People are getting better. There's nothing. While he should have been doing something. Yeah. That's what he was told by you, by the that communist he, that he was Then, then yeah. he, he failed and his administration failed. Well, you, you, and, and you got the still stops at the top. China says. That's the buck you, stops at the You the same thing believe what China's you're saying. saying. You're, you're taking it hook, line, and sinker. All Don't I know is 240,000 Americans are going to die. That has nothing to do with China. Well, we'll mm -hmm. see. Uh, you know, they also said that the Hope uh, uh, hospital ship uh, would be months before it got to New York Harbor. He said it'd be a week. And it you took should get a part-time job on the Trump administration. You'd be a uh, great... Because uh, all you do is, is come up with ways to make excuses for this guy. Ah, the guy's doing the right thing. Sure, and, and he is. The guys are treasonous for the way you're acting towards him. Wow. Here's a question. <laughs> that I pose. Here's a question. Do you think the administration? I'm going to do. I'm going to do a little. My opinion. I think they sat in the office, and I think they knew what was going. They knew what was going on with China when they got their first case, like Charlie said. And I personally think they might have sat Trump down and said, "Listen, we can shut the country down in January." And I think he probably said, "You know what? We don't have any cases really." Let's wait. Let's play it by ear. We'll monitor this, but let's keep everything open because if we close everything, we're going to go down. I People may not get up. reelected. And, and well, I think he everything he's everything he's, he's been doing. Table, now he crapped out. Everything he's been doing is in service of him getting reelected. Correct. He doesn't make a single decision that isn't predicated on, well, if I do this, is it going to hurt me or is it going to help mm -hmm. me? Rather, you know, Cuomo the other day. In his speech, somebody asked him about, you know, any political aspirations or something he might have. He says, look, he said, this, you know, he said, I don't care if tomorrow I lose my job over this thing as long as I do what I thought was right. That's because he, he wants to be president. No, he doesn't want to be president. In fact, I, his brother governor. asked him last night if he wanted to be president, and he said no. And 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 Chris asked him a second time, and he said no. And he asked him a third time, and he said no. That's because he lied three times. Well, I, he you it's know he Judas. may later on down right. the line, but right now he's got a job to do in New York. He feels, you know. Yeah. And by the way, if he did decide to jump ship here in New York and suddenly get drafted to run against Trump, he'd beat the pants off of him. I would. I would yeah. So I'd vote no, for him immediately. Right. Across the country. Yeah. Yeah. So, Alex. Yes. Alex Charlie. is supposed to be really bad in the next two weeks, and then this thing is supposed to go on, like at least until uh, April thirtieth, right? Well, it, they time. say they say it, My, it, it could. We're on lockdown until June tenth. Right. Mm -hmm. Your company. 
But in the next two weeks, it's going to get really bad, they say, right? That's what's well, it, you know, it, it, it's going to get really it, bad. It what does could, that mean? It could if he peak, says it's really it bad, could peak forget about it. in a week or it could peak in three weeks. That's what they're saying, at mm-hmm. least here in New York. The rest of the country is you have to get to a peak. So, you know, yeah, where I live, Alex, mm-hmm. I'm in a county in New Jersey, like it's Bergen and, the, you know, the North Bergen's Jersey. And I'm in the Middlesex County, which is the fifth county, and it's like the last one that they say, so. I feel good about that. I, I, I suddenly <laughs> noticed that there are two, um, there are two Mr. Zellers here. Who do I not Sorry. have? Who do I not have in the uh, in the mix? I've got him, him, hum, hum. I got him. I got uh, the, our friend from San Francisco, um, Mr. Larkin. Uh, let's see here. Maybe maybe we only have how many do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, okay, okay. I got. I, I can go back to the. Uh, oh, that's because there are two. There there are two two Zellers there, and we don't 11, need two. Zellers. Eleven on Skype. What? Eleven on Skype, including me. Yeah. Well, so they, that's the royal flush. But uh, you got one, two, three, four. Yeah, but I've got somebody. Let me let me, let me just get rid. Yeah, you got twelve on, on the because uh, uh, you got two uh, two uh, uh, of um, Jeff. Uh, yeah, two Jeff. Let's see here. Uh, two Jeffs. I don't know why I have two Jeffs, but everybody, it's well worth it. You know, Whatever. it's better than two. It's better than two fills. You yeah, know? <laughs> you can play Jeff Tic Tac Toe. Yeah, let me see here. Let me get rid of that. Okay, so let me see. Get probably... rid of eleven, and then we can go like that. And it's still a royal flush, right? Yeah. 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 Okay. Okay. All right. Mm. I don't know how I got two of you there, Mister Zeller, but what the hell? I don't mind. Uh, let me see here. Uh, so sure. You hear the update on Connecticut. <laughs> what? The the update on Connecticut. Yeah. What's the update on Connecticut? Well, right, right next to us is a golf course, mm-hmm. and all of a sudden everybody was golf coursing. So they said, "This is crazy. These guys are just killing each other. Oh yeah, that they're all so going to get sick." So they canceled the golf course. Well, everybody got after the governor and said, "Bullshit! Golfing is important." Job, what? <laughs> but you can only have one guy in a cart. Yeah, same in Arizona. <laughs> they, yeah, they. Uh, it, so how is it? Uh, it? It is considered to be a, uh, a what? The Americans are so spoiled. You know something? I, I just say anybody who goes out and does anything right now. Is 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 being a a, a total jerk? Okay, well, need to be selfish. Social distance. Yeah. If you can't trust people just to stay six feet away from each other, you could go out. I've heard like, the, I've heard some estimates that the social distance should be twenty four feet. Wow. From you? No. 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 Yeah. Twenty four <laughs> feet. That's why I only go out for a half hour every week. Because the the virus can travel that far. Half hour every week? Is that when they let you out of the cell? Uh, for That's it. Yard? <laughs> yeah. I'm going for eight hours. If I didn't have to get food, I'd never leave the house. I know. It's like, yeah. I, I'm afraid to leave. I don't go anywhere. Yeah, I don't. I I haven't left. I I went out. The, the thing you saw the other night. That's the only other time I've been out. I was out a week before that, a Tuesday before that, um, and I haven't been out of here. Uh, in fact, I'm going squ- I'm getting a little squirrely. To tell you the truth. Yeah. Oh, sure. You know. get over yeah. tired. Like I feel it's like I'm tired. Me. I can't even watch TV. Like I watched all 46 episodes of The Expanse. What? That yes. took that took a, a bit of my time. It was something to look forward to, and that was it. You know. Yeah, I don't understand the morons that are talking about this Tiger Man show. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, that was wild. That's, that's great. What a brain wreck. You know. Well, I couldn't watch it. I watched two episodes, 
Couldn't watch it. Well, my question is, are, are, are Americans that bored that that's the number one show on Netflix? <laughs> what a piece of garbage. Mm. Yeah. Very Jerry Springer or something, yeah. Well, let me see. Who did we just lose? What, what we, well, who just sent something here? I do. Oh, oh don't, don't, don't send anything because it comes through over here. And it's, it's just a uh, link. Yeah. Yeah, I know, but, but it came up as like a whole big thing. Uh, yeah, it yeah, I covered up your whole picture. Oh, all right. Uh, this was uh, Howard Stern's recommendation of a doctor in, who's an ICU mm -hmm. doctor at a, one of the largest New York hospitals. Mm -hmm. And he really uh, explained in a very human way how we can live in this world and how we can go to a store and what is contagious. And, and you know, in a nutshell, it's just don't touch your face. Yeah. yeah, Dr. Azik. Yeah. Uh, well, I, you know, I, I uh, recommend you guys watch it. Do you see that guy, Jake Tapper? He's the guy that does Bar Rescue. And uh, mm -hmm. he said that uh, our lives are going to change the way we uh, socialize because, for instance, in a bar, uh, they're going to have to move the tables further apart in restaurants. Uh, if you can't just belly up to a bar and uh, and and have somebody next to you. You can't go to the movie theater and and expect that you're going to be able to social distance. Uh, you know things are going to be different uh, when this. Well, when this I, I, I think that once this is over with and there is not a contagion on. I think that we will go back to a lot of our old ways, but I think that what we will do is we'll be a little more uh, 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 cognizant of the fact that we're capable, if we have a cold or a flu, of passing it to someone else. And maybe we'll do what they do in other countries, and that's wear a mask when you're sick. Yeah, yeah. I can see that now, yeah. The mask, but, like China. You know, yeah. I see... Well, I kind of already want to... They want you to do that already. Like if you go to a hospital, they have masks and they have things there that they ask you if you come in and you're kind of coughing or something. They want you, they wanted you to do that already. Put a mask Fauci, on, you know. Fauci said that this virus is going to come back next year and it'll just morph into into something else and it'll be more resistant. By then, though, we may have uh, we may have uh, uh, what do you call it uh, inoculations against it. We may have a lot of different uh, cures for this disease. If they can come up we with may stuff, be finding yeah. a cure very soon. I mean, we may find that one of these drugs, like the one for malaria, might help mitigate it. You know, yeah. um, and then they're they're testing the blood plasma of yeah. the people that have already survived it that didn't the die. Yeah. Yeah. So you, know, you know what's going to cure this, Alex? Riboflavin. <laughs> I will that. Thank you, Jerry. That's from something. I don't know what it uh, is. It's out, it's out, uh, Jerry Lewis. The best, uh, the best, the best. That's right. You know, they're yeah. live. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's uh, good. Yeah. Uh, the, uh, the, um, the funniest, the funniest. Holy but goody. The funniest yeah. uh, cartoon I've seen going around about the whole thing is a picture of Van Gogh. You know, the famous picture, the self-portrait of yeah. Van Gogh, mm -hmm. where he's got a mask, but it's only over one ear, and it's uh, hanging right, down, right. and the <laughs> caption is, fuck. <laughs> Would, let, me, uh, let me ask you a question. Yeah. Yeah. Would you say, this is this one of the biggest things, even though it's a tragedy of all lifetime, would you say? There's none bigger. Uh, right, I would say this is it. I, I yeah. can't it's think of... And I thought I I've seen it. Yeah, this, is, this is bigger than 9 11. We lost more people well, already than 9 11. Lost, yeah, right. We lost like 3,000 people for 9 11, I think. Yeah, we're yeah. over. The Black Flag was a one day deal, really, if you yeah. think about it. it, it, when, it, it but I, I, I can't think of anything worse in the way of a, not epidemic, but in a, something which is dangerous to the public. A human tragedy. You know. Mm -hmm. um, well, Worse than the Hindenburg, right? You know, this stuff has been happening and predicted for thousands of years. That they've been talking about Not, locusts and famine and 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 floods and all this they're stuff. They're just waiting for Trump to become president. That's yeah. right. Uh, well, uh, you know, I wasn't yeah. alive in 1918, but if I was, I would have to tell you, no, this isn't the worst I've seen. 
Do you think that you would have gotten the Republicans to go along with this handout uh, the way Trump has been able to put it through? No, you wouldn't have been. Uh, what would have happened is no, nobody would have gotten nothing, and it would have been the same kind of deal as well, Obama. What, what you're, saying, least, what you're um, saying is, that, though, that the Democrats are good guys who would have helped, and the Republicans aren't if they didn't have— uh, if they didn't have, Yeah, he have, just have, said— yeah, he That's what you it. said. That's yeah. what you just said. Against the the uh, conservative Republican way of uh, you're saying dealing. that the Republicans wouldn't have done anything about this if if they hadn't been cowed by Trump. That's your inference. I don't agree it that it's true, delayed. but it would have been delayed uh, quite a bit if uh, if Trump wasn't uh, leading the Republican Party at this time. And you're, we're very lucky that he is the person in charge. Oh, I feel so. I I say a prayer for him. Right and, we wouldn't have needed it if Trump hadn't been in charge. Really <laughs> <bad. Hey. laughs> I say a prayer for him every night. Yeah. 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 I, say I think a it's going to come back like it's going to roar back. Wait a minute. Did you say you used to have a prayer, uh, Scott? No, no, I, 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 I pray for Trump every night. Mm -hmm. Yes, I do. I do. You do. He's a very religious guy, too. He's prayerful. <laughs> what are you praying I'm, for, however, is what I can ask. Well, I want to live. <laughs> I don't yeah. want to go out like this. I'm with Tony. I'm with Tony. I don't want to go out like this catching a flu bug or something, killing me. Yeah, there. imagine. What a way to go. Yeah. Hey. On, a, on a ventilator in a coma. Hey, where do we Nobody can even see Well, if anybody, if anybody in this room is... Uh, is 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 uh, has got a gun to his head that way it's me you know i mean i'm, I'm 80 years old i i uh i have cancer okay uh texas huh? they said diabetes is the number one uh, uh deal yeah where uh, dying. Probably got to be careful. Yeah, I, I think it i yeah i don't think that my prostate cancer comes under that category of the cancers that would be affected by this, but there are other things people weakened by chemotherapy, which uh, uh, yeah, uh, which your uh, immune system's yeah. been rattled. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't go out, Alex. Stay in. My mom, well, I'm, my I'm, mom was told to not be on chemotherapy just so she built her immune system up. I've been so radiated. I think it probably killed the the bug. Yeah, I was. Yeah, be, imagine that chemo kills the flu thing. That'd be good. Yeah. We got it, son of a bitch. Yeah. Yeah. I, I can't believe it's almost like it is a it is a nightmare. You wake up, it's like it's every time I wake up, it's almost like it's the same day. Almost feels like well, like, yeah, right. you, know, you, it's you know, Mar Marjorie's the one that goes out. She goes to the store because she gets up at seven o'clock in the morning and is able to go to the store and walk right in. And there may be two people there, and she gets what she's got to get, and then she gets the hell out of there. Then she comes yeah. home, and the first and thing she like, does, okay. she wears she wears gloves. So I she washes gloves. her hands with the gloves on. Then oh, she takes the then she takes the gloves off, and then she washes her hands without the gloves. And then she takes her clothes off and puts them all in the in the in the uh, washer and dryer, and then immediately goes and takes a shower. This is a family show. That's a little overkill. She's gonna, uh, little it may be overkill. Yeah. But coronavirus is sorry, well. It's, it's, it's the coronavirus is the ultimate kill. Yeah. Um, my I'm, mother gets paranoid when I go out. She says, "Don't go too far. I'm only going two blocks. I mean, yeah. What am I going to do? They can't come to me with everything." Yeah. Uh, Mr. Patrick, is it? That's the last name, right? Larkin, Mr. Larkin. Yeah, uh, you've been street. very quiet <laughs> tonight. Have you, you got anything you want to say here? Um. Did, did you hear? He called. Uh, he called that guy. Don't be a cutie pie. Oh yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, I heard that. <laughs> what was that? Like, don't be a cutie pie. Yeah, what is what that? Yeah. What guy? He says that. You, you could say don't be Trump. cute, but you don't say don't be a cutie pie. That sounds stupid. Yeah. Yeah. Of course, said uh, the guy was a girly man. You know yeah. what else? Uh, you know. <laughs> and, and he referred to all the medical equipment as things. Yeah. I'm sending it. We're we sending a out a stuff. lot of things. Yeah. He has no <laughs> command over the English language. But he's so eloquent. <laughs> he grew up in Queens. He just uh, he has the same sentence for everything. We're doing a job like no one's ever done before. Yeah. Or well, the one I loved it. was the other day when he said, and I, 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 I'm not misquoting him here. 
Uh, he was talking about South Korea. He says, and I know more about South Korea than anybody. <laughs> and I kept thinking to myself, how about a South Korean? <laughs> you know? Yeah. And his figures were all off again. And he had the population off, yes. Yeah. Yes. He didn't know it. Oh, because oh you noticed he doesn't see Chinese You know something? Here's what, here's what hit me. You, but to begin with, when's the last time we've seen Rudy Giuliani? Ah! Yeah, oh, right. <laughs> huh? He was back into the coffin. <laughs> Maybe he got the flu, Alex. Maybe he got the virus. <laughs> right. Oh, you, oh, got you, thought you thought what? You thought what, Phil? I thought he had a show on Fox, or he was getting a show. No, no. Uh, Rudy no, Giuliani? I think that's on One American Network. Oh, oh, is that it? Okay, yeah. O A N. Yeah. Anyway, know. we haven't heard from Rudy Giuliani, and my thinking was. If anybody could have given him good advice on how to handle this in the public arena, it probably would have been Rudy Giuliani because oh, look at yeah, how he 9 handled 9-11. You know, he wrote, he wrote, well, he, he, to be honest with, with you, I mean, he's a jerk now, but at that time, he uh, wrote the textbook on how to handle that kind of situation and how to tamp it down and how to keep everybody on an even keel. And he should have gone to him for advice, but apparently he doesn't take advice from anybody. On the other hand, the guy who has become America's governor is Cuomo. Cuomo is really a big hero right now. Mm. Absolutely. Right, and we wait to watch him every day. We go, when, when's the Cuomo show on? And then yep. uh, we, at around 6 o'clock, we go, when's the comedy show coming on? <laughs> My mother loves Cuomo. <laughs> <laughs> From Washington and the mayor of Washington D.C. and Inslee, the mayor of Wa uh, the uh, governor of Washington State, they're trying to emulate Cuomo's uh, uh, style. Uh, you know, Inslee. Well, well, good. They should get... all uh, now. The one who should be imitating him is Trump. Yes, uh, 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 Rob. Did you see Trump the other day talking about his ratings, comparing it to yeah. the Bachelor finale? Yeah. I mean, was, are we? Are you fucking? God, it, it, he's it's gotta be kidding. Yeah, exactly. I mean, really, it's this not is what a TV you talk show. About it. <laughs> that's important. This is what you talk about. It's the you know, president. Oh, that's important. Come on, Phil. You can't. How do you? How do you defend no, that? You think better. he's back on The Apprentice? <laughs> he's talking about the finales of certain shows and we're doing better in the yeah. ratings. This is a press conference for millions, thousands of people dying in this country. What? But you know, so what? So what? So what do you mean, so what? So we'd what? like so some. He's the president. We'd, we'd like him. We'd like him to act. We'd, to, is it too much to television. ask him to be presidential? What you have is fear. Uh, your the Phil, fear is going Phil, to continue Phil. to escalate. I can't believe you're this big. I can't believe you're this big a moron. Come I, on, I understand what fear is, and I know how to overcome it. And uh, we, and we don't leave the house. That's how we're overcoming it now. <laughs> you know, gotta give him some sort of hope. You gotta give him some. Oh, else oh to by the way, oh, this is gonna you, you're gonna love this one. If anybody saw the press conference today, the moment I love best when it was Mike Pence. Every day has been holding up his little piece of paper that says, you know, yeah. 15, days. fifteen days. Well, there's a he holds up a new one today. He and holds it, it up like and, this, and it say fifteen days. <laughs> it says thirty days. I think they're stupid, all of them. I really do, other than Fauci. All of them are unintelligent. Yeah, yeah. They're all, well, they're unknowledgeable about the subject. <laughs> yeah. Hey, listen, there, there's our theme song. Boy, what a, what a crowd tonight. And I almost thought we had yeah. uh, a, a, a one more than we actually had, but then we had two Jeff Zellers, and I'll tell you, that's better than one Jeff Zeller, okay? <laughs> anyway, uh, hey, uh, uh, Mr. Klein, thank you so much for bringing your dog tonight. Uh, Bye. Ch Charlie, good having you here. Scott, glad you joined us. Uh, let me see here. I can't I, I can't see how my people... Oh, yes, and... Uh, um, um, oh, boy, my... my uh, 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 who? You got... Charlene, you got Jeff. I know, I, I think, but I'm trying to think of our new person there, right? I'm uh, bad on name. Huh? Oh, Larkin. Oh, Mr. Larkin. John. John Larkin. Thank you, John. See, I, I'm very bad on names and 
eventually, if you do it enough, I won't, I'll know exactly who you are. Yes, uh, Charlene, thank you. Thank you, Jeff. Thank you to uh, Rob, of course, as always, and to Tony, and to Phil, and of course, to Kevin. And if everybody wants to, they could give a big wave goodbye, and I will wave back at you, okay? There they go, ladies and gentlemen. That's the citizen panel for tonight. Boy, I like Michael Klein's dog. That's a fun dog. That's a nice doggy. Anyway, let me hang up on everybody and get these lines ready for the next show, which is the intersection with Jack Bishop. He'll be here to take calls as well and, and do his own version of the citizen panel. We'll be back again tomorrow night. Uh, when? Of course, ladies and gentlemen. We'll be back again tomorrow night at uh, 1030 Eastern Daylight Time. In the meantime, as always, if you see her, tell her I love her, okay? Bye-bye, everybody. <laughs>